95.7 The Hog and The Morning Hog. Riggs, intern Steve, and Josh from SR Parat about to get into a brand new edition of The Morning Hog Brew Review. Today, we'll be sampling Bevy Long Drink and a couple of great gin-based flavors and Sun King Brewing, bringing us a couple first-timers as well. Let's enjoy. Drink up. It's Morning Hog Happy Hour on 95.7 The Hog and The Morning Hog Brew Review. Ninety-five-seven, the hog, the morning hog. Hey, it's happy hour Friday. Riggs intern Steve and Josh from SR Pro. It's the morning hog brew review. Let's Woo! hear it. <laughs> Josh is back. Hey, buddy. What's up? Happy Friday to you, man. You as well. It's uh, you know, I've been uh, taking in a lot of, a lot of uh, it's kind of self. I've been self evaluating a little bit. Okay. I've got a birthday, a week or two ago, and. So I've determined that I just need more beer. It's just I, I need to have more beers or more different beverages in my scope of life. I have that evaluation about once an hour after 7 o'clock. Oh, wow. That's, well, this is good. So we're, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're, wow. we're in sync then for this thing. Yeah. Uh, and you have brought some that I think might be part of my new rotation. Yeah, Let's talk about it. A couple of interesting things and a couple of beers for us. Okay. Um, you guys want to start with the beers or the interesting hmm. thing? Steve? Let's go place? seltzer first. Okay. All right. Not quite as seltzer. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa, Steve. Get, don't get ahead of him. Yeah, yeah. come on, man. Yeah, back in town. <laughs> What's the house cracking so open? We're going to start off with something called Bevy Long Drink. Oh, hmm. Bevy Long Drink? Bevy Long Drink. It sounds like a cartoon character. Or yeah. How about a cartoon character out of Finland? Oh, oh, really? Okay. So, wow. as you said, kind of okay. seltzerish on color. Okay. Completely clear. Wow. Um, so, when I buy in liquor yeah typically it typically is uh gin okay and i i mix it with fresco okay really Uh, yeah get a little bit of citrus and stuff so this particular product actually has some juniper berries which is one of the main flavor profiles in gin and citrus this smells really good yeah it's like somebody just dropped me in a bath of body works yeah i already like it Mm. So okay. gin can be a very uh, acquired taste, I guess you could say. This isn't as punchy as gin, so it's, oh no, yeah. So oh, it's oh, not a, wow. as offensive or anything like that. Hmm. It's going to clock in at five point eight percent. Okay, but so do you want to know what it, a long drink is? Yes, yes. Well, that, this is super unique. I yes, mean, it's it rare is. You get something you haven't like. I haven't had anything like right. this. So back in like nineteen fifty two Summer Olympics, I think it was. Yeah. So the playoff the Olympics right now. Right. Um, hmm. They were making cocktails in Finland, which is where the Olympics were taking place, and okay. they had to create a cocktail that they wanted to be able to pump out really quickly. Okay. And what they landed on was something very similar to this, uh, which they call a long drink. Um, this one is malt-based. That way, it can be sold all over, and you don't need a liquor license, stuff like that. Um, but in my opinion, for me, instead of grabbing my gin and fresca, yeah. I can pop one of these open and... Uh, Wow, I don't, I don't have to do any work. I'm, I'm having. First of all, I've been watching a lot of this the Finns good. in the Olympics. I've been pretty heavy on the Finland. You still Winter Olympics, so this was, this is their time. The Nordic lands. This is this where they really get sweet. But I didn't know we were going to have beverages that we win a gold medal. Get it? Boom! Give me the bell. Thank you. So, so to kind of describe this drink to, to anyone that's listening, so you definitely get sweetness right up front. Yes. Um, a little bit of tartness from the citrus. Yeah. And then it kind of finishes out with that the juniper berries a little bit on yeah. the exhale. Yeah. Uh, to me. Very enjoyable. Yeah. Um, like I said, gin is much more punchier, so don't be afraid to try something like this. I would never have guessed gin right. if you didn't say it. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, wow. But okay. I have another one, another long drink. This okay. one is going to be berry. Ooh. Okay, now ABV-wise, where are we on on these? So these are sitting at 5.8%. Okay. Oh. So this could be... <laughs> it's yeah. different. These are so These are so non-alcohol tasting to me. This could be a it, good problem. Uh, exactly. Yeah. No, I agree with you 100%. Yeah. Um, the, the the taste of alcohol is not nearly as present as you would think it should wow. be. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm excited now. Finland. Hmm. Steve, what does the uh, Finnish flag look like? Can you describe it for us? That's of course, of course, of course not. Yeah. <laughs> I think he was trying to qu- Google it quickly. It's rectangular and it has stripes, bro. That's all you needed to say. All right. Watch it be the one flag. Steve, that Steve oh, failed our first wow. quiz. We'll get to one in round two. This, oh, my this God. smells delicious. Wow. So this is just berry? Correct. So okay. I haven't tried this one yet. I, I, I've, I've okay. bited quite a bit in the other Ooh. one. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Dude. I like this. These are. <laughs> this is evil. Right. <laughs> these are These are a danger right here. This is great. This is like a... 
I, I'm, I'm trying to get that berry flavor that in something else, but it's like, I mean, it, it has a... Mm. Like those powerful seltzers we've had that have yes. the flavor forward? Right. Yeah, this is definitely a, a, a flavor forward type of drink. Um, it sits... Like Steve said earlier, it sits in the world of seltzers as far as the combination is concerned, yeah. but it also creeps into the land of like uh, a Mike's or something like that as far oh, as the amount man. of flavor that's behind it as well. Wow. Yeah, that is fu- that is full flavor. I mean, those those are a treat. Yeah, it's fantastic, I think. Yeah, that's liquor candy right there. I approve. <laughs> I approve of that. So Bevy. Bevy, which, which by the way, I've, I got an English degree, so I don't want to brag right now, but a bevy, of course, a large grouping of said items, perhaps a bevy of birds, a bevy of ladies, a bevy of... Uh, Beverages, I guess you can. Can we verify well. that? Or? Sure. That's like I'm mean, looking at sure. us. We don't have our dictionary uh, thing that we came off the wall. It fell off. <laughs> yeah, it fell off. Yeah, but if it was there, you'd see bevy. I'll trust you this yeah. time. Uh, so that's uh, how new is that? So this is brand new for oh, us. Cool. This is actually produced by the Boston Beer Company, the same guys that do Sam Adams, Sam Adams, Twisted Tea, Whoa. Shirley. Oh, oh man, so they're Boston. stepping in into this world um, to give us something different. Like you said, it's not something that uh, is very familiar on the shelf. Yeah. Um, but it's delicious. Uh, so the flavors we tried today come in six packs. Oh yeah. Um, the citrus is also in a 24 ounce can. Okay. Definitely check out the website. Oh, you talk about srprot.com slash beer finder. That's Bingo. what it means. That yeah. one. Yeah. Um, cause these are so new for us that they'll be out in a lot more independence right now. Okay. Um, total wine and you'll slowly start to see them trickle into ABCs and possibly into Publix and stuff like that. But it is a newer product. So oh, yeah, I am. I mean, this is one of those things where if I took this home, I get one, and my wife's like, I don't know, they disappeared. I don't know what happened. The five other ones, they're, they're in the trash can in our bedroom. I don't know what happened. Exactly. Yeah, it's unfair. I you want to know what a bevy is? I do. A flock of quail. How in the hell? A group of otters. <laughs> a large group or collection of some things. Did you edit the Wikipedia page by the time I, you said that and I, we talked? Yeah, I did. I did. I love I love hacking into Wikipedia pages. How did pages. you know that? Great stuff. I just have that kind of knowledge. This is, what, this is what happens in here. I am genuinely impressed. Well, clearly I haven't had enough to drink yet. Wait <laughs> well, till round two. Morning, yeah. Let's find out what I learned and we all learned in round two. Uh, Josh is here from SR Products, the Morning Hog Brew Review on 95.7 The Hog. Stick around. Cheers. Cheers. The Morning Hog, 95.7 Hog, Riggs intern Steve, Josh, SR Perot, the Morning Hog Brew Review, happy hour on this Friday. Hi, Josh. Yeah. What's up? You know Josh. I do know Josh. You brought a, a couple of great uh, beverages, alternative, like fresh, new, crazy beverages, but it is always good to come back around to the center of the Brew Review, which is the tasty beers. It's beer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So let's dig in. What are you bringing us? So I have a new partner. Okay. That we uh, just started distribution on. Your wife's going to be furious. <laughs> Wait, hello. <laughs> so, I'm 50 plus now. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, so <laughs> Sun, Sun King Brewery. Yeah, okay. They are te- technically out of Indiana. Okay. Yeah. However, they have just purchased a brewery down in Sarasota. Oh. So there will be Florida Brewed here shortly. Oh, Which wow. I'm really excited oh, about. Oh, that's huge. Alrighty. Um, but the so, really cool thing is up there yeah. is they have five breweries. Wow. Okay. One inside the airport, Indianapolis huh. International Airport. Okay. So mm-hmm. they are a uh, very built into that city and into that state, um, which is fantastic. But I'll, I'll kind of read a little bit more about them in a second. We'll pour some beer right That's now. Good That's good. It's a great idea because we do have uh, some beers to get into. And we have a weekend to kick off proper. Uh, Sun King is the uh, – that's raw, by the way. Just want to throw that out there. What? God of Sun is raw, R A. So I do believe you on that one. Yeah, he is. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a Google huge it, Stargate fan. Right. I mean, he's one for one. So he's going to Google it in a second. Um, so we're going to start oh, off God. with Pachanga, okay? Which is their Mexican lager. All right, Pachanga, Pachanga. Oh wow, like Pachanga. How did you know that, dude? Raw. Doubt me. Holy, I got. What are you an you encyclopedia? Kind of. Yeah. I don't understand what's Holy going on. Holy mackerel, yeah. dude! Why Google it when you can rigs it? We're going to turn rigs into a verb. <laughs> okay. Be fantastic. Pachinga. Which Woo! sounds, which, uh, by the way, there's that uh, game Pachinko, which is the balls that you play on. Uh, and you be like George Costanza, and once you get to that level, yeah, just bounce. That's Don't point. No more facts. That's, a great point. <laughs> right. That's it for me. All right. Let me, just, let me just. <laughs> well, he's got a pinata on the front. Right. Oh, bro. Oh, wow. Cool looking can. I already love this yeah. beer. I haven't even tasted it yet. Mm. It's pretty oh, good. Mm. Okay. Beer. That's, that, that is. Yeah. Easy well, drinking, crisp, yes, light, right. Right. lawnmower beer, beach mm-hmm. beer, yep. pool yeah. beer, Florida beer, right? <laughs> lawnmower yeah. beer, it is right. I mean, it, yeah, and soon to be a Florida, uh, a district, Florida brewery, Florida, Florida made beer. Uh, like I said, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, Mexican lager, it clocks in at 4.2%. percent mm-hmm. Easy drinking all day. Okay. Available in six packs. We have it out there on draft. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, check out the website. Oh, you mean srparat.com slash beer finder. That's the website he's talking about. Bingo. You should check it out. If you you might need to Google on that one, probably. You probably should <laughs> bang that into your keyboard. But wow, the, I mean, Pachinga sounds like the sound when you'd hit a pinata and all the stuff would come out, all the candy and the Or like when you stuff. win a game. Yeah. Pachinga. Pach- yeah. All right. Yeah. I did not Google that today, so you might we're, be able to. Yeah, we're, you, making, we're making all that up. Do you want to guess sounds, on that one? Oh, what Pachinga means? Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to... Oh, man. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to say Pachinga is the utensil you use to be- hit the... The Pachinga is the bat that you use to bust over I the like pinata. that answer. Let's see if I'm right. Steve's Googling it. Pachanga is a genre of music which is described as a mixture of sun, montuno, and meringue. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> All right. It's a it's a pinata bat. Yeah, I'll go with pinata yeah. bat. Just if long, it wasn't before, that's what yeah. it means today. Log into Wiki and change that real quick. Yeah, please. Uh, but whatever it is, it tastes good. That's all you need to know. Yeah. And like you said, easy drinking and at a low drink. ABV, you could you could get a lot of pachingas. So, like I was saying, in uh, Indiana, they're huge into the community. There, uh, yeah. they are very well known. They're the second largest uh, craft brewery in Indiana, which okay. is a huge feat. Yeah. Um, they actually. The smaller breweries bring their kegs to their operations to have them prof- professionally cleaned. Oh, Whoa. Really? They really? have a lab, a million dollar lab there that they uh, they give the opportunity of smaller breweries to use as well, so they can oh. check on their yeast and make sure that everything is uh, alive and, and well and stuff like that. Hmm. So their community outreach is huge, large in the community. So hopefully that moves its way to Florida as well. And uh, you know that's why I'm really looking forward that's to it. Very cool, and I would imagine. I mean, not that distribution is a problem for them, but obviously it makes things a lot easier when you're right here in Florida. Mm. Right. Get, get well, that more. we'll get beer that's fresh off the truck. Oh, probably yeah. a day or two before. That's true. Rather than traveling, it's that close. beer is mucho delicioso. Whoa, Steve. Nice <laughs> one. I think that's Spanish. I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure. I, I guess. So this one yeah. is a little interesting. Okay. So they make a beer called uh, Sunlight Cream Ale. Okay. Oh. Well, they did a variation okay. of it. A while back, of orange vanilla sunlight cream ale. Ooh. So kind of like like a dream sickle. A dream sickle. Oh yeah! Wait till you smell this. Oh man, I am ready. And then get wait it. till you taste it. Get, wait, we're getting uh, 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 Tim's going to get our smell of vision hooked up for this one now. <laughs> ready I think we that? have to pay extra for that. Yeah, it is a little extra, but it's worth it. I mean, it's a couple grand, no big deal. We got a big budget on the brew review, as you can tell. So, whoa. oh my God! If you're listening today, check out the oh. website later to, to watch the video and wow. take a look at the the branding on these cans. Yeah, it screams Florida. Look at this. Let me waft that to you in case wow. you can lick your computer, or your phone, or your screen, whatever. I really dig that. Yeah. Oh my gosh! So this clocks That's in at five point three percent. Again, nothing you know too crazy. Oh yeah. Um, hmm. But you are getting orange. You are getting vanilla. Yeah, and yes. then it's very smooth, which is a, cr- yes. a characteristic of a cream ale. Yeah. The taste of uh, the, or the aroma uh, is is matches the taste. So sometimes you get a really good smell. Right. And you're like, oh, it's a little lacking. But this, is, this yeah, sinks up. Yeah, the exhale is no different than what you're getting on your palate. That's really it's good. fantastic. Wow. Yeah. Boy, now I want to I hope an ice mm. cream truck rolls down through my neighborhood. There, <laughs> you know what I'm, saying? I'm going straight up with a bunch of singles out to that thing. <laughs> So yeah. these two items we do carry in package, okay. six packs out there. Check out the website, Total Wine, ABCs, uh, local independence. Mm-hmm. Uh, draft, we carry these as well, but we also have a couple extra ones out there. Um, we have an amber that they make. It's called Amber Has Two Moms, which is uh, <laughs> part of the LGBTQ community. LGBT, oh, L- yes. oh, really? I'm really bad at pride beer. Bad. LGBTQ. Yes. Can I get it? Yeah. There you go. Okay. Um, we have the regular sunlight cream ale as well, okay. and then uh, occasionally we carry an, uh, a seasonal IPA. Wow. Hmm. Okay. So we do a large variation, and they make some killer stuff. And they're coming to and they're coming to Florida. Yep. They're, and they're coming to Florida. They're really here already. You can you, you can get those flavors. SRProd.com slash beer finder. If you have a computer or something that has the internet connected to it, whatever, maybe a watch or a, <laughs> I don't know. Steve's got a brain chip. He just uses his right in his head. Uh, well, that's uh, thank you. Did they replace the entire brain? No, it, no, it was uh, it was a partial, and that's why <laughs> that's why you don't want to jostle him too much because okay, gotcha. it'll come loose. Uh, well, thank you for these great flavors heading to this weekend. This is perfect. Uh, we're looking forward to more srprod.com slash beer finder. If you want to track them down, or you can just try to get Steve's on the parking lot as we head out. Yep. All right. Until then, cheers, buddy. Thanks, cheers. Man.